Welcome to this week's edition of The Lowdown, presented by Lexus, Robbie Musto, Robbie Earl, my partners in crime. For this week's episode, five questions, 30 seconds for me to answer them about this weekend's action. Don't know what the questions are. I do know that Robbie's got the first one, though. OK, um, this is a nice easy one to start with. Okay. Uh, what are your thoughts on Eric Ten Hag's team selection today? <laughs> nice, easy one. <laughs> well, I mean, I suppose it's an easy one in that I was very confused as to what he was doing. Um, it is staggering that Harry Maguire and Johnny Evans started a Manchester derby. I mean, actually, they weren't great. They weren't horrendous. It wasn't like there was a rick in them every five minutes. It was only but, three. Only three. Well, no, three goals. Yeah, I know. But it wasn't like they kind of had glaring, you know, ricks. I just, it was odd, wasn't it? It was odd not to have Regulon start. Um, his in-game management substitutions were odd too, I thought. Um, Rashford seems to be getting away with it. So to, to answer your question and expand it, his general decision-making is weird for me. But I've touched on this a few times on the lowdown. Don't see it. Don't, Don't see, see it. Him, do you? No, I haven't seen it. What did I say first week? He had a ton, no of, gravitas. A ton of gravitas. He had lots of gravitas. gravitas. No, I said he got no gravitas, Robbie. Gravitas. <laughs> no gravitas. No gravitas. Let's take you to the bottom of the table, Rebecca. Sheffield United, one point from 10 Premier yeah. League games now. Paul Heckenbottom. Will he be sacked? Should he? Right. Willie, I don't know. I would have thought not at the moment because I think if he was going to be sacked, he'd have been sacked by now. Um, although we're coming up to an international break in a few weeks, that could be when he goes. Should he? In my opinion, at this stage now, with one point from 10 games, you often get the lift from a new manager. And also, there's something about being the first one to make the firing because then you get first pick yeah, of want. who yeah. is out there. Now, they're not going to get a Graham Potter, but they're going to get somebody who is going to go somewhere else unless they get him. Frank it's Lampard? It's ruthless. Don't think Frank Lampard, no. Ruthless, <laughs> um, yes, that's that's football. You've got to, I think... Sheffield United, you've got to make the change. It's. It, I, I know you think. First. I know you must. You think Sheffield United. Oh, they're doing all right. They're sort of competitive. Not one point. Ten games. I, I don't think they're doing all right. But I, I think. No, you said that. Yeah, but you're. You... Question three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking you the questions. Go on. <laughs> all right. Question number three. Um, Unai Emery is is looking beyond the top four. How high can Aston Villa go? Um. I think he needs to just cool it slightly <laughs> on looking beyond the top four. Top three, maybe. I mean, I'm, I'm not... He, he's, they're not in a title race. I mean, they are relentlessly good right now, chaps. I mean, they are really mm. excellent, sitting in fifth position, scoring a load of goals and looking really good. But I think... Four points, four points from the top. Four, four I know, top. I know, but we're 10 games in. So I'm not, I'm not thinking they're in a, in a title race yet. Um, but by all means, they could be a Champions League club. Will they? Next Will they season. finish top four? Will they finish? Top Will four? they finish in the top four? I'm going to say no because I'm worried that there's no one to come in if if Diaby or or Watkins gets injured. I don't. Th I think the drop off is is huge in terms of who they've got. They've got John John Durant. I mean, they've got some players, but I think the drop off is too big for them to then maintain it. And at some point, someone's going to get an injury. It just happens. I'm staying down at the bottom of the table. It wasn't the greatest game at the London Stadium, but Everton won one nil courtesy of Dominic Calvert Lewin goal. Will Sean Dyche and Everton be in the relegation mix by the time we get to Christmas or can they get mid-table and clear? By the time they get where well, you get by to we, Christmas? By the time we get to Christmas. And, and no, I think they'll six, be stuck in, I think they'll be stuck down there. I think they're too inconsistent. You know, I've thought about this a lot on the low down. I think I'm far too knee-jerky. I think I, Everton Good win. Point. Oh, they'll be clean. You know, they'll be clear by Christmas. I think I need to just like pump my own brakes a little bit sometimes. What about and, the end of the season then? Let, let, let's give it. 28 well, games. Give us a finishing position. Yeah. Might get a minus 12 point deduction. Let's, let's not go Forgetting on minus 12. possible point yeah. deduction, Glass finishing half, position for Everton will yeah. be about 13th or 14th. Oh, yeah. I think so they take that. I, th I think they would take that. Um, I think they'll be in the relegation picture up until the spring. Not, not deep in it, but in it. All right, All right number okay. five. Number five. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, what, what's your best ever Halloween costume? <laughs> <laughs> There's one I can't really Come talk on. about. <laughs> the low down, no, I can't. Also, actually, the American audience wouldn't understand it, so I'm not going to go there. Um, my best... Uh, you know what? I'm a little bit of a Grinch. Well, you know, mm, in England, yeah, we, know we don't that. really... <laughs> we don't really do that. Halloween. We don't really do Halloween outside of, like, being a witch or a spider or a I pumpkin, know, yeah. do we? It's got to be scary, isn't it? It's got to be scary. Or, or something though. scary. And, that was and the first one. A witch... <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm so colourful. Yeah, I haven't really got one of them, but I am growing into the Halloween tradition. My little boy is going to be um, Danny Zuko from Greece. 
and also something else. I mean, by the way, can we talk about how many costumes these kids have to have? It's so over the top. This is for another day on the lowdown, but we will come back to this <laughs> subject matter because I've got thoughts, OK? On the YouTube channel, don't forget our NBC Sports YouTube channel every week is where you can find all of the original programming. Premier League update to Robbie's podcast. These two chaps, it's about to call you numpty, <laughs> sitting next to me. Premier League tactics session as well that the boys do and my show, The Lowdown, which this has been presented by Lexus. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.